Hi, I'm Norm Yip. Thank you for coming uh, to the channel and listening in on what I have to say. Um, I thought I would uh, make a video um, on a topic that I've been thinking about um, for a while, um, and I thought uh, since I have it in my mind, I would I would actually talk about it. Um, just for those people that don't know my work, um, I'm uh, uh, I'm known as a fairly good photographer uh, in. Um, in a particular series of work that I've done, it's called the Asian Male. It's basically Asian Male nudes. Um, I started photographing uh, the male nude series in 1999, and it continues on to this day. Um, but I started out with film, and so um, uh, so there's a so it, actually the, the the this particular video is really about uh, the romant over romanticization of film. Um, I've talked to several different people uh, recently and um, you know they started to photograph uh, using a film camera and um, and I started to notice that they they would they would they would get the film developed and then they wouldn't do anything with it once they got the film developed uh, so let's, let's say you took it to a lab and you got it back and then you got these negatives and then they would just get the print and that was it and I, um, I kind of thought, well, is it going to stop? <laughs> Are you going, aren't you going to work on it? And um, I, one of the, they said, no, no, it's being pure. It's like the pure image itself, and uh, and uh, that's what the camera takes. So that's it. And I said, well, okay, what's the, the so the analogy there to them was that um, that the you know taking it with film was was the purest form as it is, as it was. And I, I don't buy into that because um, when, I, when I take photographs of uh, whatever, um, whether it be, be people or, or, or landscapes or, or whatever, I get that negative back and then I work on it. Um, and back in the days when it was uh, film photography or in the dark room, I would actually do post-production in the dark room burning and dodging and making that image look good the way I wanted it to look like. I would not accept it point blank um, just as it was, especially with black and white, because that's where I did most of my black and white work. Um, I would take that image and I would um, uh, burn and dodge and uh, and do retouching. I hated retouching. I hate, I don't like retouching um, in the film days. I much prefer, you know, uh, retouching in in the modern era, whether whether it be scanned from a film or whether it be from a digital original. Um, so getting back to this idea of uh, a film, um, yeah. So you know, what, 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 so I I was explaining to a young gentleman about about film, and um, you know when when it when it comes out from the lab or whether or not you or you develop it on your own at that point you are still you still have to work on that image you have to still work on that negative to get that image to look the way you want it to otherwise you are accepting a formula that is uh, that has been pre prescribed prior hand or prior to uh, uh, to you for you to use and, and, and that that prescription is 18% relative gray um, and that's that's quite flat. It's it's basically an overall flat kind of gray that uh, that is uh, uh, that gives you what one would call proper exposure. Um, so that proper exposure is is like the the, the, the datum line. Um, it's like the flat curve, or the flat curve with basically a straight line. And and from there you can start to manipulate it and make it into the photograph that you want. So. You know, if you were talking to Ansel Adams, you know, and you said that you just accepted it as as it came out from the from the negative, um, he would laugh at you, he'd scoff at you. Um, that you have to work on. It. You have you have to then take that negative and you have to make it work. So so that's the first. That's my first kind of uh, um, rant about about uh, about film, and um, that that you you know you, that you have to take that negative and then you have to work on it. And actually, it goes the same for digital. I have met some people that they do the same thing with the digital image, and 
you know, they accept whatever comes out of the digital image as being, that's it, that's the purest form. And I said, well, no, that's not purest. That's just accepting what the companies that make the, the cameras set as being, you know, flat, you know. So, um, you know, you, you have to add contrast. You've got to give it flavor. You've got to add things to, to give it, to bring the taste out of you, not of what the company uh, that makes the sensors or the cameras have to have have just given you so um so by the same token that's a, it's the same kind of thing whether it's film or digital you have to take that negative and you have to work at it make it into something that is yours um find out what works for you um to make it work and not just accept this what i would call rather bland looking image that comes out from the camera straight as it is um I mean, I think that's what that's why you know all, all all these companies now with the apps are coming up with all the the, the the filters, right, to give it character. But in in a way, those filters are good; they're fine. But someone else has prescribed that to you, so you have to come up with your own filters, your own your own sensibility into what you think makes a great looking image. Um, so yeah, like if you stop at the point of you know they got the shot and you just print it as is. Uh, based on what a lab comes back with you, uh, com comes back uh, with the, uh, from the film, or 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 the straight from the di from the digital uh, raw file, um, well, I'm sorry, that's just that's half the work. Um, and 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 the other thing that I want to talk about too is a little bit about. Well, I mean, I have nothing against analog. Or, or digital, I like the, the, the imagery that comes out of it. Um, and yes, it does have its own flavor, but just because you take a photograph using a film camera does not make it artistic. No. That photograph has to stand on its own as a photograph, regardless of whether or not it's been taken with film, or was taken with digital, or whether you use a scanner, or whether it's a photo photogram, or whatever the case may be for you to gain to get that image could be a polaroid whatever and just because it was taken with polaroid to me big deal i i don't accept that form of that medium as being the the the, the go-to for making it into artistic or beautiful the image has to have its own it has to it has to stand on its own as an image, as a final piece of artwork, regardless of how it was produced. Um, so, so yes, I have met several different people mo recently, whereby you know they have an artistic flair, they have an artistic side to them, and, and 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 moving into the digital was sort of like a, oh yeah, well it's back to analog and everything. Yeah, there there are all these points that make analog great, that make film good. Um, but I, I have I, I, I just don't I don't buy into some of the reasoning behind it, um, and so this is really just to, to talk about that in itself. So um, I think I made my point. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, if you are interested in seeing my work on the, uh, uh, on the Asian Mail series, I have a lot of different websites for different things that I do. Um, uh, so each each of my websites kind of talk about gives you a different aspect of my, my work. So I paint, I draw, painting behind me is by me, the photographs uh, uh, that you see over over here. That, that, actually, this is, oh, it's interesting. Uh, both of these are actually photographed with film. So um, back in the film days. And I have to make those photographs look the way they do. So if you're interested in seeing that, uh, uh, the, some of the work that I've done uh, in the Asian Mail series, go to the AsianMail.com. Um, it's it's a it's titled after a series of books that I had published uh, self published um, the asianmail.com, com uh, the t h e a s i a n m a l e dot com take a look at my work see if you like it and you can give me a comment below like subscribe all that kind of stuff uh, I don't really care too much about that I'm just sharing information about my work and um, I thought. Um, I should start doing this because I have a lot of things to say and um, I thought I should start to add more about my work onto YouTube so that you can, you can learn about it. Okay, thank you.